Hey everyone, Jacqueline Howard here. Ever wonder what it's like inside our planet? Come with me on a subterranean tour all the way from the rocky crust where we live through the layer known as the mantle to the wild, half-solid, half-liquid core of the Earth. We'll also be stopping by a newly discovered underground ocean. Let's go! First stop, Earth's crust, the outermost layer where we live. The crust is made up of several elements, from iron to magnesium to sulfur, and its thickness ranges. The continental crust, the stuff found under land, can be up to around 50 miles thick, while the oceanic crust, the stuff found under our oceans, is around 4 miles thick. But let's see what lies below that. Now we're about 50 miles below the surface, at the uppermost region of the mantle. This layer is made up of rock that's rich in oxygen, iron, magnesium, aluminum, and it extends from here all the way down to around 1,800 miles below the surface. The mantle is also where molten rock known as magma can form, the stuff that flows upward during volcanic eruptions at which point the magma becomes lava. This was pretty much the picture scientists had of the mantle until earlier this year, when a vast, hidden ocean of water was discovered some 400 miles beneath North America. It goes to show that the rocks down here have a pretty impressive capacity to store water. But now let's travel a little deeper. You ready? Here we are, 1,800 miles down at the Earth's outer core which runs all the way down to around 3,000 miles. This is a layer of molten iron that surrounds Earth's inner core, and it's really, really hot down here. In fact, it's between 7,200 and 9,000 degrees Fahrenheit. But if you think that's scorching, wait until we reach the center of the Earth. And we made it to around 3,000 miles down, the uppermost part of the Earth's inner core. Like the outer core, it's made of mostly iron, but the pressure down here is so intense, the stuff is solid. It's almost incomprehensibly hot. It's about 11,000 degrees Fahrenheit down here. That's hotter than the surface of the sun. Now the actual center of the earth is about 4,000 miles down, but I'm starting to sweat, so let's skip that and head back up to the surface. Phew, back on the surface. If my virtual tour of the Earth's interior had been a real one, it would have been a first. We all know that no one's ventured beyond Earth's crust. But then, how do we know what's down there beyond the crust? Scientists use waves of energy called seismic waves emitted by earthquakes to measure what type of material is inside Earth and where that material lies. You see, as seismic waves travel through our planet, the rate in which they're traveling, whether they're moving fast or slow, reveals what exactly they're traveling through, whether that material's solid, liquid, or something else. Now you know. Leave your thoughts on what's lurking inside Earth in the comments, and come on, talk nerdy to me.